And Te'e is the solemn feast day of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. It's always celebrated on the Friday during the octave of Corpus Christi. Last Sunday was the Feast of Corpus Christi. And it's a relatively new feast day in the church. It goes back to the apparitions that St. Margaret Mary Alacoque had of our Lord in the 1600s. And it's become a very important feast day for Relevant Radio because every year we renew the consecration of Relevant Radio to the Sacred Heart, which first took place in the year 2003 in our chapel up in Green Bay with Father John Girardi. We renew that every year. It's also become a feast day which is important in the history of the United States of America, crucially uh, important, because it was two years ago on this day, the Feast of the Sacred Heart, although that year it fell on the 24th of the month, that the Supreme Court of the United States of America overturned Roe versus Wade and made a statement that the United States Constitution does not recognize the right to deprive an unborn child of their life. I'm choosing my words carefully not to use inflammatory rhetoric. But arguably, the most prestigious court in the world found the reasons to reverse itself and vote in favor of life and return this debate to the states, to the people, which now is even more challenging, and that's why we do relevant radio. But I, I recall those events. Um, that happened after a 405-day Rosary Novena. I have a hard time saying it with a straight face. Like, what's a 405-day Rosary Novena? Well, it was actually the number of days between May 18th, when it was announced, uh, 2021, which was the birthday of St. John Paul II, and the last Sunday of the following June, which is usually when the Supreme Court makes uh, big announcements. That was June 26th, Feast of St. Rosemary, 2023, a 405-day Rosary Novena, which turns out to be 45 nine-day novenas. And that took place after a 54-day Rosary Novena on the Family Rosary Cross of America that commenced on Our Lady's birthday, September 8th, 2020, and uh, finished on the eve of All Saints Day, 2020. And it was during that novena that um, Amy Coney Barrett was nominated and appointed to the United States Supreme Court. And without her being on the court, they wouldn't have had the votes to overturn Rose Roe versus Wade. And all of that was after 10 years broadcasting the memorari on relevant radio every day, coast to coast, nationwide, and having prayed 452 million memoraries for an end to abortion. And that's borrowing a page from the playbook of St. Mother Teresa, who knew the power of collective intercessory prayer for a specific topic through the Blessed Mother and through the Rosary. It's all part of what I recognize in that book, Mary at the Crossroads of History. And then tomorrow is the Feast of the Immaculate Heart of Mary, which also is important for us at Relevant Radio because we merged with Immaculate Heart Radio in California seven years ago, and that's why we'll always keep that red heart next to the raised T in Relevant Radio because in one signature, we doubled our size and reach automatically. But let's think of that. Sacred Heart of Jesus, and he's on the cross. Immaculate Heart of Mary, her heart is broken. She's at the foot of the cross. And we think of that poem, the Stabat Mater. Stabat Mater, uh, Stabat Mater, Lacrimosa, Euxta Crucem. Stabat Mater, Dolorosa, Euxta Crucem, Lacrimosa, Dum Pendebat Filius. That's it in Latin. It means by the cross, her station keeping stood the mournful mother weeping close to Jesus to the last. That's the key point of our life, to be close to Jesus to the last. And of all the questions that Jesus asked that are recorded in the Bible, I think the most important question is the one he asked St. Peter. Peter, do you love me? Let's think about that today. How do we show our love to our Lord and we show our love to our Lord like you're doing right now by giving him time.